today is a Sunday, November the uh, 28th. And so something, I had just, you know, it just hit me. I'd realized, I, y'all have probably heard about the, the whole Facebook thing. They want to transition to something called Meta, where essentially it's a, uh, it's going essentially into like a, a 3D, like a virtual reality 3D, like a whole new reality. And what hit me is this this sounds like this could be the image of the beast this could be the groundwork for the image of the beast so meta it means after beyond it's a prefix more comprehensive transcendent so meta it's going beyond beyond normal transcendent so the devil his goal his goal is to create to create an alternate reality So that's, we already see that nowadays with all these different distractions. He wants to put you into a zombie-like state, an alternate reality where you may be sidetracked, by example, sports, football, or you may be heavy into something like video games where you're going into like an alternate reality. And so this Facebook, this new meta, they're going in this 3D uh, direction So the metaverse is the next evolution of social connection. Our company's vision is to help bring metaverse to life. We are changing our name to reflect our commitment to this future. 3D spaces in metaverse will let you socialize, learn, collaborate, and play in ways that go beyond what we can imagine. So we see their goal is to go into 3D spaces. So they're trying to... uh, essentially bring you know create an alternate reality and that that's the devil's ultimate goal he wants you in an alternate reality where you're not your eyes aren't on god your eyes aren't on the lord you're 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 not reading the word of god you're not praying so your the spiritual connection is cut off he wants you in an alternate reality he wants you in the point where you don't even look anymore at this reality like uh, the nature the wildlife the this the that he, he the, his goal there's he's saying you know it's right here he's trying to get you into an alternate reality so essentially the whole concept behind this is you wear these virtual reality glasses you can see some pictures of it these funky rectangular type things these virtual reality glasses and they project essentially into your vision a false virtual reality of a completely different landscape so the devil wants wants to hijack the uh, you know the lord's creation this earth he wants to essentially substitute his own virtual reality and see interestingly you see these head glasses what is that that's your eyes that's basically right at your forehead and the mark is in the right hand or the forehead. And so what I believe we see here is basically this appears to be the image of the beast or what will be used to project the image of the beast. So most people, you know, I've always thought it's more likely going to be an artificial intelligence like a statue that people, will, the government will provide and people will place in their homes and this statue will be an image of the beast and it will speak and talk. That was always, That's always been my main stance. But now with this whole virtual reality, it makes sense. If you have a, a person wear this, you can have a whole new reality, a whole different landscape. You can have an image, an image of the beast, the Antichrist projected in your field of view in this alternate reality you will be able to talk you will be able to interact with this image of the antichrist it will be like he's standing right there if you're wearing this virtual reality headset and this this will essentially you don't understand this is all connected to the ai the artificial intelligence so this projected image in this alternate reality that you are seeing will be able to speak you will be able to interact with it Because it will be driven by artificial intelligence. And so you can see the power of this. 
over a conventional, uh, like a artificial intelligence statue. If you put a statue in your, your, where you live, your home, that's limited in power. The statue itself, for example, can speak and do this and that. It can uh, listen to you eavesdrop. It can report you to the government. But the thing is, it doesn't influence your surroundings. Your surroundings are still um, unchanged. And so the goal of the devil is to completely change your surroundings, create an alternate universe, an alternate reality. And this will allow him to do that. So now the power behind this is you, you, you have an actual alternate reality. You're no longer in this world in essence. And so they will be able to put the image of the beast, the image of the Antichrist. You will be able to talk to the image. You will be able to interact with the image. And you could even, you understand with something like this, you know, you see the, uh, um, for example, the, the body of Christ, if believers gather in a church, well, the devil could do the same thing here. The whole concept behind this is you're having social interaction with friends in an alternate reality. What Now, now imagine that this beast, this image, you, you can now gather with friends and people across the world. You could gather in this alternate reality and worship the image of the beast. You can worship the Antichrist with other people. So this is much more powerful and effective then, for example, a statue, a physical statue that is placed in someone's home. So I believe this appears to be the image of the beast. Do you understand how close we are? If this is the image of the beast, do you understand how close we are to the, 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 to the completion of all of this? So the Bible does not provide many details concerning the image of the beast. We know the false prophet will have power to give breath to the image of the beast so the image could speak. The speaking image of the beast will demand worship. Anyone who refuses to worship the image will be killed. The mode of execution is beheading. The image of the beast is likely the abomination that causes desolation. So what is the nature of the image? The Bible does not say. Old speculation of the image is that it is a statue given the appearance of life. With the rise of new technologies, there's new theories, including hologram, android, cyborg, human-animal hybrid, clone. Whatever it is, the image of the beast is the focal point of worship in the religion of the beast during the second half of the tribulation. So, so guys, I believe with this meta, this uh, this uh, FB, his the CEO of FB, the CEO, he's pushing in this this meta direction, which is beyond transcendent. This is beyond. This is going into a whole new reality. So I believe this appears that we are looking at the image of the beast, the initial stages. So once this is normalized. They can get this, and for most people used to this, you know, young, old, everyone. And once people are used to this, then, you know, when the Antichrist is fully revealed, then they can transition it to what it's the, the, the you know, the true intent of this technology. So this, this appears that the devil's rolling it out on this front to get people used to it, and then the Antichrist can simply, uh, you know, hijack it for his purposes. So you would literally have worship of the Antichrist in an alternate reality, and you can do this worship with other uh, people in a completely different reality. It's essentially the devil is trying to hijack the Lord's creation, this earth, and hijack, create his own form of uh, quote-unquote heaven, which will be an alternate reality centered around the worship of the Antichrist, the image of the Antichrist in this alternate reality. So I believe this is what we're looking at. I, I needed to bring this up. Just stay strong in the Lord. And, you know, I hope we go home soon. But, um, who, you know, who knows at this point? 
at this rate, I mean, we, it looks like we're going into 2022 at this rate. So I really don't know what else to say. But I mean, when we see like the mark appears to be here, that now we see the image is basically like here, you know, we got to be getting close. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.